Right. Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Knight Gaming, and I'm back for another cost talk. And this time I'm with Devouring Dark and Silver Lining Cosplay. Hopefully, I pointed at the right people this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all playing with random people. Uh, and yeah, they've decided to come and hang out with me and I'm going to do the usual thing. I ask them a bunch of questions. I've only kind of given them a hint of what's going to happen. And we'll see how this goes. So we're going to start off. So what got you guys into cosplay to start? I got into cosplay through the anime field about 10 years ago and it just kind of dove straight in. Ah, geez, I'm trying to think you're probably because of the Calgary Expo. Uh, way back in the day, early 2000s, going there, uh, dressing up. Uh, to go to the convention, and then I met my lovely wife, and we just kind of dove right into it uh, head first together. Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, hmm. What has probably been your most challenging project so far? I think the, the there's there's a couple different degrees of challenging. There's challenging in the sense of a team effort, in that we have to work together. Uh, I would say Ifrit was probably the hardest one. Yeah. I still um, have to see that one in person. It is really cool in person. It is yeah. big. It is massive. It is huge. It was. Uh, it was a competition piece, it was down to the wire, trying to get everything done, uh, and we definitely butted heads a lot on it, so that was probably the hardest for time crunch and for working together, um, I think, but when it comes to technical for myself, I think it actually became Mystique with the uh, with the makeup and prosthetics, just because that took every time I wore it, two and a half hours of makeup job every time, so cumulatively, that one adds up uh, a lot. A, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. uh, I would agree with Ifrit. I think that that was to date, and I say to date because we have plans. Um, <laughs> to date, that has been the most challenging build that we've done so far. <laughs> so far, dun dun mm -hmm. dun. <laughs> so we will have some of their pictures of some of the stuff that they've done at the end of the video, and also there will be links down below and at the end for you guys to check out. And I recommend checking out that stuff. Um, my next question: uh, What's probably your favorite part about cosplaying? Richard, you go ahead. For me, um, probably giving back to uh, uh, people that want to get into this. Uh, I am really, really big on um, trying to uh, uh, help people out with their, uh, with their, like their, their, their selves, uh, you know, for confidence and stuff like this. We do a really good panel. We call it cosplay, uh, confidence in cosplay, and uh, I like teaching people that it doesn't matter uh, what ethnicity you are, you know, what uh, gender you are, never like this. If there's characters that actually speak to you, you really, it, it's something you need to do because um, you're, you're picking that character for a reason. And yeah, I, I love giving back. I really do. You know, and seeing people's faces light up when they realize that, you know what, I can do this is such a rewarding thing. Mm -hmm. I'd say um, my favorite part along, along with that and inspiring others is the, is the sharing this community on the construction side, we've learned so much from other people and from YouTube, and we like to give back as well. So I, I like to think that there's no secrets in cosplay, mm -hmm. that we can all share our techniques. And of course, you go up to a cosplayer and ask them, hey, can you tell me how they how you made that? They are going to tell you everything. They are so excited and proud yeah. of their build. And we're all, we're all here to share together. And so we have learned so much. And if we can share with other people and keep sharing, we're just going to keep making this community even stronger. Yeah. yeah. And that's part of the reason why I'm doing these videos and stuff like this, why I do my tutorials, because I'm still pretty fresh to this. I've been doing this maybe a year and a half grand total. And so every time I learn something new, I'm like, I'm going to share this because <laughs> it's a whole lot of fun. So here's the fun question I'm going to have. Uh, what's your favorite Final Fantasy? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm super biased because we're super into it right now. Obviously, we love Final Fantasy 15 very much, but I would say my favorite um, because it was the one that got me into it was Final Fantasy 10. Uh, I didn't realize how much I could cry in a dream video <laughs> game. Uh, and uh, but 15 is, has now re has now replaced that, but 10 will always have a special place in my heart. Uh, I'm gonna probably get flogged when I say this. 15 is the only one I've played up to date. Um, I've known about it. Uh, when I met Lindsay, she was playing 14, so you know I learned about it with that. And then when 15 came out, uh, it took us about six months, and I had to buy it and play it for research purposes. That's the best reason to do research. It. Yes, <laughs> totally <laughs> reason. All it was, was research. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And to be perfectly honest, I'm looking at it now, and there's plenty that I want to go back and, and play. Yeah. I have one word for you though, Sephiroth. Uh, well, I guess my shirt kind of gives a good hint of which one my favorite is. Yep. And anybody that knows me knows that mine has to be Final Fantasy VII. And for that reason, it's really the first one that I truly, really got 
into gaming. It was the first console I bought for myself. It was the first game I bought for myself. I had played other Final Fantasy before. I had played six. I had played the Legend series, like all of that. But it was seven. That was really what yeah. it was. And I mean, yeah. Eventually, there's going to be Sephiroth. Mazamune and the Buster Sword are going to be hanging around my house and whole nine yards. Um, and for me, I've played pretty much all of them. Yeah. <laughs> there's not many I haven't played at this point, and there's not many I don't own. Excellent. So, Excellent. Um, so what kind of questions do you guys have for me? Oh. Put us on the spot. Uh, I did warn the man at the time. You did warn us like this. Uh, <laughs> geez, I'm trying to think here. Uh, Okay, outside of Final Fantasy, what's your uh, what's your favorite video game series? Oh, uh, well, that's gonna be hard. Um, I'd say one of the top ones definitely is Halo. Uh, okay. That's the other yeah. big, you know, one I want to do is Master Chief. That'll yeah. be totally fun to do. Um, uh, Devil May Cry is another favorite yes. of mine. I really yeah. want to do a Dante. Um, well, I, I kind of have a, a three-year-old named Dante. Oh, excellent. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, those are probably two of the really big ones. Um, yeah, Ratchet and Clank, actually. Uh, we were just talking about this earlier. Yeah. It's another big one that I've just, I fell in love with right when it came out. And, uh, yeah, I love the series ever since. I've played pretty much everything that's in the series. I own, I think, all but one. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, any other questions? Uh, what about anime? Um, right now my big like is My Hero Academia, but going back to stuff like Street Fighter 2V, oh. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. FMA is um, always good. Yeah, I love that one. Uh, another one actually a lot of people don't know about is Fighting Spirit. Uh, Hajime no Ippo. Uh, it's all about this young boy that becomes a boxer. And uh, the story itself is goofy, uh, it proves that you can make an anime out of anything, and, uh, and it's just a really great feel-good story about his progress to become the best boxer he can be and the oh, best excellent. person he can be. Yeah. And I just, it, it's, it's one of those uh, anime I go back and watch anytime I just feel like getting pumped up to yeah. do just about anything. Sounds excellent. really um, inspirational yeah. too, yeah. I have to check that out. Yeah, well it's, it, I, I love it, I've got all of the series, uh, hunted well, it down. from you. Yeah, <laughs> you know where I live now. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, <laughs> so yeah, well thank you for coming out for this. Well, well thank uh, you very we'll much keep for keep it short us. for now, but we'll definitely have to see each other again. Absolutely. And see these guys in cosplay, it's, it's definitely worth it. I've seen all the pictures with all the stuff they've done, and I've seen some of the stuff that they've done in person, so definitely Definitely worth the time to check out. There will be links at the end, there will be links down below, and I suggest you guys check them out. Have fun guys, keep gaming. Bye.